This video is a quick reference to the installation of a dynamic V8 side load air cleaning system and is not intended to supersede the installation manual, local codes, or common sense. This same installation procedure is followed whether the installation is done in the field or at the factory. If you have any questions, please call your Dynamic Authorized Representative or call Dynamic Air Quality Solutions directly at 800-578-7873. The Dynamic V8SL is a modular system with a stacking, self-supporting racking system that allows them to be installed and accessed from the side of an air handler for applications with no in-unit service access. Pre-filters are generally not needed, but may be recommended based on the application. Module width is chosen to minimize the overall number of modules and keep the same width in each air handling unit. This simplifies media replacement and ordering. Each module is numbered and is installed according to the submittal drawing. Begin by removing any shipping bracing, framing, or filter racks from the air handler section. The airflow direction and module numbers are labeled on each assembly. Lay the modules out according to how they will be loaded into the unit. The far column of modules will be loaded into the unit first. Note that the side of the assembly with the electronics must always face the access opening. The first step is to attach the provided T-shaped rails that will run parallel on the floor of the air handler. The required spacing between the rails will be indicated on the submittal drawing. The T-rails are attached to the floor of the unit, leaving the inner flange for the air cleaning modules to slide on. If there is not sufficient length in the air handler section, an L-shaped rail can be provided instead. When using L-shaped rails, countersink the holes on the sliding side of the rail and use flathead self-tapping screws. The inner flange of the rails must line up with the access door opening, so the modules can be slid in from the side and removed for servicing. Once the rails are attached, apply the provided brush seal to the inner rail surface. In cases where the bottom of the unit is not solid, or if the T-rails are not adequately supported on the ends, Additional supports for the bottom will need to be fabricated in the field. When the width of the unit exceeds the total module's width by 2 inches or greater, install the provided vertical post between the T-rail and the top of the unit on the far side of the filter section to act as a stop when the modules are slid into place. The post should seat against the rear of the module frame, not the air cleaner latch side. Use a field-supplied flashing to prevent air bypass between the vertical post and the wall of the unit. When the width of the unit exceeds the total module's width by less than 2 inches, use the provided foam stripping to seal against the wall of the unit instead of installing the vertical post. Install the provided static pressure tips in the air handling unit using the brackets and instructions provided. Static pressure tips should be located where the influence of air velocity is eliminated or is at an absolute minimum, usually on the ceiling or upper sidewall. One static pressure tip should be located upstream 12 inches in front of the air cleaner and one pressure tip downstream 12 inches behind the air cleaner. Point the tips into the airstream. Route the tubing to the control panel location. In order to prevent air bypass over the top of the air cleaner modules, some type of hat channel must be fabricated in the field, typically attached to the ceiling of the unit and resting on top of the air cleaner modules on the side opposite the latches. Brush seal is provided to attach to the top of the assemblies or on the underside of the top hat. Complete this step before installing the modules if there is limited space in the air handler. As mentioned previously, Airflow direction and module number are labeled on each assembly. Once the rails are attached, begin loading the modules. It is important to load the modules according to the submittal diagram. The far column of modules will be loaded into the unit first, with the electronics facing the access opening. Determine the location of the termination plug from the wiring diagram. Install the plug and connect the module to module jumpers. If there is more than one column of modules, connect the longer jumper to the top module and route the wire to connect to the top module in the next column. The side panels of each module have a Velcro strip along the vertical edge. Attach the foam seal provided to this strip. This will prevent air bypass between adjacent columns. 
Continue loading the modules into the air handler in the numbered order shown on the wiring diagram and repeat the wiring and sealing procedure for each subsequent column. The foam strip on the final column of modules will seal up against the access door. Attach the wall mounting brackets to the back of the control panel. Mount the control panel to the side of the air handler or duct enclosure as close to the access door as possible. Connect the wiring harness through the bottom of the control panel, using the appropriate connector as required by your local code, to the corresponding terminals as indicated on the wiring schematic inside the swing plate inside the control panel. If the air handler is being installed outdoors, the wires should be routed through watertight conduit. Ensure that the provided access door interlock switch is installed in the air handling unit and operational. The air cleaners will not be energized if the door switch is not connected to the control panel. Attach the static pressure tubing to the control panel. Be sure to calibrate all magnetic gauges to zero according to the gauge instructions provided. Connect the control panel to the appropriate line voltage and turn the system on. The red light indicates 24 volt power to the system and the blue light indicates continuity through the modules and back to the control panel. Your system is now ready to clean the air. If the facility is still under construction, it will be essential to use pre-filters, such as rolled media, MERV 9 minimum, to protect the air cleaners and the V8 replacement media. Thanks for your time and attention. Again, if you have any questions, please contact your Dynamic Authorized Representative or Dynamic Air Quality Solutions directly at 800-578-7873.